I try to come up with things that I'm joyful for missing out and I can't because if I missed out, I'm not going to be joyful about it. Adjusting to a constant piece for that time and point because it will always change. Jomo, also known as joy of missing out, just like FOMO is fear of missing out, is apparently a thing now. So that's what we're going to talk about today. It's sort of more of a chatty, rambly videos. So my thoughts are not completely organized. Anyway, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Amy. And yeah, let's talk about Jomo or minimalism, if, if that can even be um, tied together, I guess. I might be the only one that feels this way, but I don't think Jomo is real because FOMO is real for sure. FOMO, fear of missing out is definitely real, but Jomo it's just you're lying to yourself. That's how I see it. Because anytime you are joyful for missing out something, it's just you're consoling yourself for missing out on something. I don't actually believe that anybody in their right mind would be happy about missing out on anything. They are just trying to make them themselves feel better, which of course I do that too. I always try to sort of like tell myself that there is a silver lining or better things will come and you know it's not meant to be which are all just phrases and mentality mindsets that i tell myself to just feel better get over it and just be at peace with it which of course is you know you have to do because what are you going to really dwell on something that you missed out that you couldn't get or that you just can't get because of not just because you missed out, but just because you can get it. Either because you can't afford it, or it's not the right time, or it's not available. Um, I mean, come on, let's just be honest. Who agrees with me? <laughs> the way I look at it is that if I were to not want something, I will just not want it. So I wouldn't feel like I am missing out and therefore having joy for it. There are definitely things that I don't want. For example, I mentioned that, um, you know, for the time being, and because of how slow, well, not slow, like one bag a year, right? One quota bag a year. Uh, those of you who do watch my channel regularly know that I started getting into Hermes and, uh, you know, the, the journey, um, I'm just gonna call it that, no matter how, how much you hate about it, um, is long. And it's a really complicated and very challenging, roller coasting, um, like wrecks with your emotions, makes you go crazy and happy at the same time, uh, up and down very much. And it's something that I'm still willing to do, and a lot of us do as well. But um, I will say that for the time being, and especially because if you can only get one bag, even two bags, not that much, but like if you really can only get one bag a year or less, then I only want the most basic bags. Sorry, call me basic, but that is what I want. And so I would feel totally fine <laughs> to miss out on say like a beautiful exotic bag. It's not about not being able to afford it. I just don't even want it. So in that sense, can I call this Jomo? Can I say that this is my joy of missing out? First of all, no one would offer me a, an exotic bag. That is just, well, touch is different, right? Like a little bit of exotic. Anyway, even if I was offered one, I, I wonder if I'll say no, I guess. But that's the thing, like if I was really offered it, then I will just decide at that time. So I don't, again, back to my argument where I don't believe in Jomo. I don't think it exists. Uh, perhaps it exists for other people. It just doesn't exist for me because I will never feel joy for missing out on anything because if I ever feel like I'm missing out, then I really want it. The opposite of that is that I never wanted that thing. And so I would never really miss out on it, <laughs> if that makes sense. I almost, I'm just gonna say this, I almost feel like people made up those terms, uh, like 
Well, FOMO is a real term, which we all have to, I think we all have to agree that FOMO is a real thing. Uh, but JOMO? Really? JOMO? <laughs> um, anyway, of course, everything, everything for the content, right? Um, but um, yeah, no, JOMO is not real. I don't believe it. I just, nah, I just don't. Which brings me to the thought of like, um, you know, being minimalist and I'm, just want to say out aloud first that uh, I have nothing against anybody who is on their sort of like low buy or no buy minimalist journey. I think it's great. And I feel like we all sort of go through a varying degree of that. It's just that can you really call yourself a minimalist when you're just doing a little bit of that? Not really. That's just how I look at it. I feel like real minimalism you really have nothing like you really don't need anything and you're happy about it you don't have to try and so um i don't think most people can call themselves minimalists either because i think all of us are not that's just plain and simple but let's just say that we're not being technical right we're just using these terms to just sort of like explain the concept um i thought about whether i can be a minimalist even if it's just a varying degree of it the way i see it is that i would like to achieve a point where i have a lot less things and and feel like it's complete am i there yet and is this even something that is achievable i don't know i won't be able to tell you until i get there and the thing is i feel like i'm always editing I think all, a lot of us are and the trend nowadays is that everyone has a collection anyway. Either you're collecting shoes, collecting cars, or collecting bags, or uh, collecting toys. Little things. Little things can still add up to like a lot of material and taking up space in your home. So it, it's just more of a trend of how people do things now, right? Um, we're no longer restricted by just survival. Therefore, I feel like it's just a normal sort of process of life where you find things that are enjoyable for you to do. And sometimes it can get overwhelming because you get kind of addicted. People get addicted to things in general uh, when they love it too much. And it takes a lot of not just self-control, but a lot of training in a sense that you get your basic education and values from your parents, your family, and then you go to school to learn to be disciplined. You learn a lot of stuff that you don't actually use in the real world. Why? Because it trains your mind to have a certain, I don't know, like um, a foundation. My grandparents lived through the war. And then my parents lived through the poverty of, of my grandparents just like go, getting by. My parents are immigrants and so we were, as their children, were just like <laughs> the first to do anything. The first to go through university. So like it's just, you know, a lot of different generations but you know every generation gets better and we're no longer in a era or at least here we're no longer in an era where we are just getting by and surviving and therefore what do you do with your times uh, and 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 like the resources that are at your disposal well you do things like hobbies <laughs> collecting so um that is why i think collecting in general doesn't matter what it is has become kind of a trend because that's what people do now it's easier to take it for granted because like my parents never had that opportunity my grandparents never had that opportunity and so like the later generation they will think that oh it's totally normal to collect because my parents did that and but you know we had to work for it maybe they don't have to so my point is, you know, uh, becoming a minimalist is definitely a choice. And also, whether it's possible is going to be quite hard because you are 
moving against the trend in a way and also maximalism or um, consumerism has become too overboard like it's again two different extremes and therefore people are just sort of tired and sick of it but when you're tired and sick of something you just kind of have this yo-yo feeling as well right you try to do the opposite and it can backfire i'm sort of glad that i was born in my generation because i get to understand from my parents generation where they come from having to work really really hard at like laborious jobs long jobs uh and just maybe even getting by like you know i i would describe us to be quite poor back then um but you know now we're comfortable like my generation right I, we're comfortable we make okay money enough to be able to have play money even though i still have to save and work for it for a long time and i'm talking decades because again guys i'm not young um you know it's at least there are opportunities and I am glad that I'm a bit of both. Like I can still be very conscious and frugal and, and just be extremely like my parents in some ways. But I also have that side of me where I grew up in my generation where I'm like, why not? And and and, and why not? <laughs> like that's the, the whole point. Like I am probably the only one in my family who is into luxury bags because no one else is literally no one else's and um therefore i have a side of me that is a bit minimalist or a bit more minimalist i shall say um so it it prompts me it forces me to constantly look at my belongings and 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 reevaluate whether i have too much I'm overwhelmed like those sort of feelings and and maybe just like do something about it to make it more peaceful again for me and so it's a constant readjustment and will I ever become super or more minimalist even in in a like a lower degree of minimalist I think yes I can get there but it will take time you know my channel is about luxury fashion but especially um, talking a lot about bags uh, because that's what I love and I, I know a lot of people love it too so it's not just me there's a lot of people out there nowadays that make luxury content uh, luxury handbag contents especially because it is the trend and you cannot blame um, people for wanting to do it and for wanting to share and for wanting to be a part of the experience and there's nothing wrong with that um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that because you know I'm tired and sick of seeing comments like oh everyone's uh, just wanting to create content so they keep buying bags i no i don't think that is the case i mean it can influence your decision sometimes um but how much does it influence your decision depends on the individual if you're constantly buying and regretting your decisions then maybe it's not so good but at the same time you may not even know that you like or don't like the bags until you um try them out and it's Again, it doesn't even have to just do with bags. It can be sneakers. It can be cars. I on it can be it can be tech stuff. I know people who constantly change laptops, phones, watches. Um, just because we are in this era of being able to do these things, whereas past generations were not as readily able to in conclusion i don't believe in jomo i i think it's fake i think that we're just kidding ourselves when you think that jomo is a thing because i cannot even like i literally i tried i tried to come up with things that i'm joyful for missing out and i can't because if i missed out i'm not going to be joyful about it for minimalism i think that is more of a nuanced discussion where i I like the idea and I I'm not against it only because I would have wanted to have experienced all kinds of varying degrees of adjusting to a constant piece for that time and point because it will always change and so to reach that end goal where it's like that perfect collection of say bags or clothes for me 
um, is going to be interesting. And I don't know for sure when exactly that will be. I feel like it will be a point where I'm just sick and tired of doing it, um, which is going to be hard. I cannot explain to you why I like fashion. I don't know how to explain why I love dressing up, why I love looking at nice things. When I see someone very fashionable and style stylish, even though it's not my style necessarily, I will still really admire it and really like it. I just, I am, I just can't explain it. I just like it. So for me to kind of not be that person anymore and not to have that interest, I don't know, it might be hard. I might not be able to, but I I would like to hope that one day I don't have to constantly be on this mind game of pursuing new things, like new bags, for example, like on this H journey, right? Like to be constantly like, oh, I want this next bag already after getting one. Uh, I, I am at this point, yes, right now. And when would it end? I don't know. I, I guess that is why some people have hundreds of bags in their collection and others have 10 or 5 and they're really happy about it. I think my magic number still is like 20. Like I say, I always try to hover around the number 20. If I go too much over or if I've been kind of too spendy that time, uh, that during that time or that that period of time, then I readjust and I get back to that normal for me and I think that might be the answer for me I don't know I, I just don't know if um, being on a lower level of minimalism can even happen for me I'm just being super honest um, anyway let me know how you feel about Jomo and if you do think that Jomo is real what did you get a lot of joy out of missing out. I'm really curious. I honestly am. And also, um, in terms of minimalism, uh, how do you look at this? Because I understand when you have to do it for whatever reasons, usually financial, um, that makes a total, that makes a lot of sense, of course. And you, you should, you should be responsible. But when you don't have that limitation and you're able to afford it, and you're doing it out of your own conscience and a desire, why are you doing it? Is it for the environment? Do you try to be nicer to the earth and contribute your less, um, you know, consuming less in general? Is that why? Like, I, I want to be a bit of everything. I don't know if I can be perfect, um, but I, I would always try to do my part in other areas. <laughs> Let's continue the discussion in the comments section. Be gentle with each other. These topics can get very heated, but there's no reason to do that. They're just things really, and it's just other people's lives if you want to judge. Like there's really no point in doing that. Uh, in any case, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.